Show love until I can't no more, you don't gotta show it back. Yeah, yeah. live like, like it ain't my own one day, I'ma give it back. Yeah, let's I'm on that TV screen, ain't got no time to act. And I'm with my father, and eating if they ask me where I'm at. Don't only come when I need them, talk to Yahweh on the daily. Oh, my side, I what up, y'all boys? I'm finna do a video. Um, I'm kind of chill because I, I filmed from the video before, but it got interrupted, so that makes it a whole vibe for real. Um, is I'm gonna just give y'all a quick backstory. MTR Mediocre told views. He posted a video talking about black men being reckless, um, in their emotions, and how that's the most dangerous person in the planet is black men and their emotions. I can't agree with that more. I did a video on it. Um, a week ago, I think it was like, man, don't fall into your emotions, you know. But first of all, before we get in this video, let me just tell you, literally, it's all glory to God. But literally, I, I don't miss. All right, look, before uh, Biden did that whole bill, <coughs> my fault, I had something in the camera. Before Biden did that whole bill with uh the trans with transgenders being able to play sports and stuff. I, I did a video a week before, a few days before a mediocre tutorial review, somebody who I respect very highly did his video. Bam, a few days I did a video on the exact same situation, uh, not situation, but the exact same topic, even though it's not specifically black men, but it's, it's men in general. I just don't miss my guy. Um, It is what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and go into another video. I was going to react to uh, Mediocre Tutorial Reviews, but I'm glad I didn't because while I was watching it, it was a story time. So if y'all want to go see that content, go to his page because I'm not going to still do content. Well, hold up. I mean, say that over. I'm not going to steal his content. Like, if it's a story time, if it's a video, then I, re I can react to that video. If he reacted to a video. Like, if he reacted to a video... That y'all want to see me react to, I can react to that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, we're going to get into the video. Why are men are weaker than ever? All right, before we get into the video, I'm looking at these, uh, you know, the little time, the time stamps that they put in there. That boy said he had erectile dysfunction. And my guy is like 20, 20, 21, 22, 23. I can already tell you where this headed because the thumbnail had dude, um, they said, why we men are weaker than ever? And he had Pornhub on the... <sighs> you know how they say cocaine is, is a drug? Masturbation is a drug. I want to start off this video talking about something that I've never opened up about on the internet, and it is my struggle in my early 20s to get hard, and basically I had erectile dysfunction. I was about 20 years old, maybe 19 years old, and the only thing I really cared about during that time was lifting weights, looking super jacked, going out to parties and hooking up with girls and drinking several times a week. This is what my life really consisted of. I had no goals. And every so often I would get the chance to have sex with a girl who would want to have sex with me. And I can recall several times with one girl in particular, we tried like maybe three or four times and I just could not get hard during it. And this was a pretty common occurrence. I remember it happening one time with another girl that I met up in Canada and also my second girlfriend when we first started seeing each other like we were trying to have sex and I just could not get hard at the start. Was this just performance anxiety? Did I actually have erectile dysfunction? I think there are several different mindsets that I had during this time and the things that I was watching and consuming that led me to not be able to get hard with girls. And now this along with many other problems for men is causing men to be weaker than ever, less masculine than ever. Letting you go, I was just letting you know, I know the weather is cold, but you on your own. 
What happened to masculinity? Are men just evolving? And is this evolution really beneficial to us humans? I think we've taken good strides in society to eliminate or reduce the toxic masculine traits in society that were once considered socially acceptable. But I think men are drifting farther and farther away from the positive aspects of masculinity too. And this was definitely me during that small period in college. What we're seeing less of is the type of masculinity that leads men to get shit done, be confident and humble, hardworking and assertive with what they want. Most men I meet and talk to on a daily basis now are more lazy than ever, they're more lost than ever, and they just have no ambition or drive. Why are men less masculine? Why do men make up 79% of all suicides? Why has erectile dysfunction in young men increased dramatically in the past decade? Depression, anxiety, and obesity has skyrocketed in men. Men have taken a turn for the worse in a lot of ways. So before he continues, I'm gonna be real with you. That's not all men. I mean, of course, there's always a, a specific group, and but that's the majority in America and the majority in these in these modern countries. In places where, let's say they they're not they're not as I wouldn't say not as privileged, pri privileged, but in places where there's not as much uh, abundance of everything as there is in America, in places like the UK, then though that's different. But it, he's not being specific, which of course that wouldn't be good for the video. But nah, it's not all man, baby. It, it, it's it's majority American and. Um, let, no, wait, time out. But 85% of men, I think it's 85% of men in America are obese. And I, I like 79% women. Come on now. And I know he's not talking about obesity, but he's talking about masturbation. But literally anything can become an addiction now in this era. Masturbation, food, drugs, sex, money. It, 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 your vices can can multiply. That's just a simple truth. When you have so much. What are the key factors that are causing men to be like this these days? To me, there are really three reasons as to why men are physically and emotionally weak as ever. And the first reason that I believe men are weaker than ever is due to diet and exercise and all three of these key factors that I'm going to be talking about they all kind of tie in together and I'll pull it all together at the end so yeah diet and exercise a lot of men have now completely neglected this because it's possible for us to do this now from an evolutionary perspective men were always the hunters they had to go and seek out their own food that took a ton of exercise alone and we also didn't have a bunch of processed garbage back then stuff that is really easy to get addicted to in food and so most men now just completely neglect their physical health they don't care about eating healthy it's so easy to get addicted to junk foods and so most men just see other men eating sour patch kids garbage all the time and it's okay to eat some of those things sometimes but i think that the diet the standard american diet at least has really gone downhill the past decade and that that is affecting men's testosterone levels. It's affecting men's mental health because what you eat is what you become. And so because we don't have to obviously hunt to get our own food and a lot of the food we eat now is not even real food, it just makes men comfortable and they can just sit and eat as much as they possibly please and they let themselves do that. Everything is pre-made, the diet is pre-made. It's just easier to be complacent now. It's more of a challenge to step out of your comfort zone than it used to be. And that is also why people don't wanna exercise and also because it's socially acceptable to not exercise and it's socially acceptable to I don't know just sit in your fucking house all day it's like the normal now and the next key reason why I believe men are weaker than ever is because it's just easy like I said to be comfortable and complacent and less men these days try to step outside of their comfort zone because everything is handed to us on a silver platter that is how society is moving towards and these efficiency related things are great and they lead to us getting more shit done for the people who can use the efficiency related things in the positive ways that 
positively impact your life. But if you get caught in the efficiency related things that are detrimental to your physical and mental health, then you're using efficiency and speed in the wrong way. It's just, I mean, we see this throughout history, anything of, well, too much of anything is bad, all right? If you breathe too much air, if you receive too much oxygen, well, well, yeah, if you receive too much oxygen, oxygen is bad. If you have too less of oxygen, it's bad. If you drink too much water, it's bad. If you drink not enough water, it's bad. Literally, too much of anything is bad. But what he was saying about men not wanting to step out of complacency, stuff like that. The men, well, the, the young men that I, I surround myself with, and I'm not, I'm not talking about, I'm a social person, so I talk to literally everybody. But I'm talking about the people that I actually like respect and admire those young men we step out um one of the uh one of one, some of the people that i look up to definitely david goggins is one of them um he's a beast man he ultra marathon runner 100 200 mile races navy seal um hailed the pull-up record one time he lit up running on broken uh legs he he's a beast and his main thing is being able to callous his mind and uh lately i've been working out but lately one thing that has really gotten me to 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 level up my mindset when it comes to working out it hasn't been oh i'm trying to get better i'm trying to get stronger i could care less about being the strongest i love I, i'm super competitive though not like toxic competitive, but I'm competitive. But the thing that's been helping me with workouts and not just workouts, but doing stuff I don't want to do, even though, you know, I'm, I'm 17, I still wash dishes, you know, I still take out the trash. And even those simple things still, sometimes I'd be like, oh, I don't feel like doing, I don't want to do it. But it's doing the stuff that you don't want to do that builds discipline, that builds uh, uh, perseverance, you know what I'm saying? And if these little, each and every little win that we have can grow into a big win, say I'm about to run this 20 mile race. It's not about getting to the 20 mile race and being number one, number two, number three. It's about finishing the race, especially if you've never done something like that before, getting out of your comfort zone. So what would you do to build up to that 20 mile race? You just build, you can build your mindset by doing the little stuff, by doing big stuff, like going out running three miles. Um, in the morning or something, you know, just something. Of course, you want to have goals so that way you can you can be the best that you can be during during that that race. But you can be the strongest and fastest. But if your mindset is trash, you're not gonna make it. I don't care if it's a twenty mile race, a five mile race, three or a hundred mile. If your mindset is poop, you're going to be poop. So that's one thing. It's never been easier to get food to have access to instant dopamine hits like social media, constantly fighting for your attention, Netflix, all of these things. Again, all of these things in moderation, not bad, but men are completely overstimulating themselves and over consuming these things. And that takes over their mind and how they feel about stepping outside of their comfort zone and doing things that are challenging. Because comfortability breeds comfortability. The most rewarding things in life are the things that take a long time to build up and to go through a whole process with them. Those are the things that really feel the most fulfilling, but because everything these days is so quick and so easily accessible, then it's the question for most men of why even do something that's gonna take a long time? Because I can do pretty much anything in such a short period of time. And the last reason, the one I think that is the biggest out of all of them, the one that impacted my erectile dysfunction the most, the one that is really plaguing men the most and making them the most comfortable is porn and excessive masturbation. These two things literally suck the manlyhood out of you. When I quit porn recently about, I want to say it was like half a year ago now, maybe more than half a year ago, I can't tell you how much my confidence boosted, how much I wanted to do more work, to do the things that made me stronger that I knew were hard to do and challenging. And during this time, I also quit masturbation 
foundation completely and I have videos on semen retention and the effects that that had on me. And so I just wanna make it abundantly clear to men what porn really does to your brain. Porn is essentially telling your brain that you are getting an unlimited amount of sex. And like I said before, you see all these things are tying together towards comfortability. Because men think they're getting loads of sex from the chemicals that are being released when they watch porn all the time, they're never going to put in the effort to go seek a mate. And so when the situation arises in real life for a man to meet a woman, they're usually shy or timid or they can't even talk to them because they haven't had interactions with women on a frequent basis anymore. And why haven't they? Because they're too afraid to. They're too comfortable with where they're at. And we can talk about all the spiritual benefits of semen retention and like how holding in your seed, holding in your nutrients and holding in your life for can do for you like I've talked about before but at the end of the day if you just excessively masturbate this is something that is releasing a lot of dopamine and serotonin every time you do it and when you put porn and masturbation together at the same time literally nothing is going to give you the same amount of euphoric feeling that you feel when you are doing these things and because of that you're going to say why would I do anything outside of this why would I do something to step outside of my comfort zone, like actually interact with a woman. Do I believe that if you did these things in moderation, it would probably be okay, maybe once every couple weeks? It probably would be, but the majority of men don't just watch porn once every couple weeks or don't just jack off once every couple weeks. The majority of men are doing this shit pretty much every single day. Think about how you feel after you've finished doing these activities. Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel really up and happy and you have a ton of energy after you've just jacked off to porn? No, they make you feel awful about yourself. And then the rest of the day is probably ruined because of that. Like imagine if you just took all that energy and that time that you spent looking up the perfect video and then doing the dirty to it on yourself and on developing a new skill or stepping out of your comfort zone or just exercising. I know the transformative power that doing the right things with these key factors does for yourself. I've experienced it firsthand for myself these past few months and so I want to teach more men to be a high value man. What is a high value man? It's like I said, someone who has a lot of drive. Alright, look, we're going to end the video there because his, I feel like his definition of high value man is, is we're, we're, it's going to be sort of along the lines but we're not going to agree on it. I, I promise you. Uh, He, his name is Cole Hastings. He seems like a cool dude. What, what he was saying was, I, I completely agree, though. All three points. However, it just seems like, you know, he still he, he still has a way to go. Me too, bro. Oh, I'm definitely finna react to this. I'm looking at videos right now. I'm definitely finna react to this. Bro, this girl got a video called How to Make Him Chase You. And it's, it's short. It's like 10 minutes long. Oh, I'm finna react to that. Probably not. The, I, I got y'all tomorrow. If I release this video today, which I'm making myself do as an act of discipline, just like, you know, just giving an example of what I was saying. I promise you I'm going to do this video tomorrow. I know I made promises before. That was before, you know, I had my little my talk for real with God, you know, got slapped in the face, you know, with accountability. So, uh, yeah, I got y'all tomorrow. The second video, this man looks, he look gay. How to make a man chase you authentically. This works. Probably because it came from a man. That's why he got half a million views and she only got 100,000. I don't know. Yeah, he, 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 he look like he don't even talk to girls for real. But uh, anyways, I think that's going to be the end of the video. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Wow, bro. These people are really, really like making videos. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. 16, 40, 17, about 17 minutes long. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can leave a like. Y'all can subscribe. And y'all can definitely comment and give me some videos to react to. I didn't say too much on this one because I really agree with a lot of the stuff that he said. Um, I, We didn't touch into what makes a high value man because if I'm being honest with you, I wouldn't say that right there. I don't want to sound like that. That itself, though, if he was going based off where he's at and where he's going, nah. 
if anything, I, I will plug um, Unk Kevin Samuels when it comes to high value man. Even though he's very blunt, and y'all might not like what he says or how he says it, it's the truth and it's facts. So if anything, if we were to listen about a high value man, that's what I would have, we would have went that way. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on IG and send me videos. Uh, my IG is the semi auto. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Appreciate it, y'all boys.